How's it going everyone? Benny Chris 12 here and today I got some little bottle openers um, that are made out of a bullet 7.62 by 54R. I have a brass one and a steel one. Um, I did mess up a little bit on them, but I'm going to take you guys through step by step on how to make these. Um, and I also have an announcement to make, so before or by the end, if you like this video, just make sure to subscribe because I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers and I'm doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway of lots of things. This will be one of the things I think I'm going to do is at 5,000, I'm going to give away a uh, training sword I made a while ago, 5,100, 5,200, from there on out all the way up till 6,000. I'll be giving things away for free, no charge to you. So make sure to subscribe for that if you want to see it. Anyway, let's get started on how to make these bottle openers. So these were made from live rounds, so you want to be extremely careful. The first step, however, is to get the powder out. I did that, as you can see here, just from wedging it in a vise and moving the bullet back and forth lightly until the bullet slid out and then you were left with the shell. Obviously, properly dispose of the gunpowder and then you're going to want to stick it back into the vise because the next thing you're going to have to do is remove the primer. Now, let me make something very clear about this. You're going to want to wear ear protection and you're going to wear eye protection. Um, this is, be careful just doing this. Not really like a primer can hurt too much, but um, definitely don't try to take the primer out first because then you'll end up with a bullet somewhere. You you need to take out the powder first and don't replace the bullet cap. Um, there's going to be like no air seal. Make sure that there is nothing underneath the bullet. Like so you can see how I put it in the vise here. It is completely open underneath. Also a funny side note, uh, I didn't have earplugs so I chewed up gum and stuck it in my ears was not a pleasant experience. Um, wear earplugs though, um, otherwise you'll lose your hearing. So I put it in there and I just kept tapping it with hammer until it popped out. Woo! Now here's the fun part which is just replacing the bullet. You literally just have to tap it back in and it will go right in. No need to refasten the little area it came out of. Now you can't. <laughs> That's literally all I needed. Wait. Next step, as you can see here, I just drew on a little bit of an outline of what I want the bottle opener to be. So you can see this is the finished product. So it's essentially just a little cutout groove like that. Hey there, you can see me back here. Um, that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna take a Dremel tool or whatever tool you have. Dremel is the easiest. Eye protection again. You don't want things flying in your eyes. Um, and you're gonna cut that out. And then you literally just end up with this. You're gonna need to polish it up in the corners with maybe a smaller bit. I just used a little cut off wheel bit. Let me show you what I had. I used cut off wheels like this to cut. Um, and by the way, brass gets extremely hot and it melted my rug in my basement. So. Um, be cautious of that. Steel didn't get as hot, but still, um, if you're making two at a time, you can at least take a break in between each one. And then I just texturized them, so I, I don't know if you guys can see this very well. I ran the Dremel up and down, gave it a nice little texture. And I haven't tested it yet, but I have a bottle here. Um, also, just for heads up, I am not sponsored by Coke. I have to say that for legal reasons. Drink Pepsi. All right, so I showed you guys my measurements and everything, kind of just how it looks like a little notch out. You can see it hooks pretty well on that side of the bottle and I can get a lot of leverage right there um, on both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brass one though because I like it a lot better. It is slightly larger. So putting the steel one down, we're going with brass. I'm gonna give one of these away to a friend uh, just because he gave me the idea. The other one I'm giving away at 5,000 subscribers. And just like that I mean it works like a bottle opener nothing special about it other than you can make it at home and if you like guns it's pretty cool mm. I like Pepsi I don't know if I can say that and get legally destroyed I really hope not neither are sponsoring me but if one of you want to sponsor me this is Pepsi or Coke please uh, fight fight I don't know sponsor me please I need sponsors if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for these giveaways that are coming up pretty soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.